Hello there. In this video, we'll go through a basic equivalent replacement decision that is common in management accounting relevant costing. So here's the data for our problem. At the beginning of 2020, a professional center installed an elevator in a building. The owner of the building returned from an industry trade show where she saw a new advanced elevator, which greatly impressed her because of speed and cost efficiency. So upon her return, she asked the building manager to gather price and operating cost data, as well as operating cost data on the existing elevator. So here's what we have, an existing elevator, an advanced elevator. The purchase price of the existing elevator last year was 120,000. And if the new elevator was purchased, it'd be 160. The useful life of the old elevator from when it was purchased is five years, and the new one will have a useful life of four years. And the annual operating costs, excluding depreciation, include fixed and variable. So 35,000 variable for the existing elevator, 10,000 for the advanced one, and the fixed costs are 23,000 and 8,500 respectively. So both elevators are expected to have zero salvage value at the end of their lives, and the company depreciates the elevator on a straight line basis. In addition, annual revenues are 240,000, selling and admin expenses are 29, regardless of which elevator is used. And if the old elevator is replaced at the beginning of 21, which we say is now, the company will be able to sell it for $25,000. So that's the scope of our information. We have three requirements to undertake here. The first would be to determine any gain or loss if the old elevator is replaced. The second, to perform a four-year summarized income statement under each of the following assumptions. So if the old elevator is retained or kept, or if the old elevator is replaced. And then finally, we're going to use incremental analysis to determine if the old elevator should be replaced. So for requirement one, which is determine the gain or loss on the sale, we start with the original cost of the original elevator is $120,000 and the accumulated depreciation on it would be $24,000. By now you should be familiar on how to calculate depreciation, but in case you're a little rusty, is going to be the original cost minus the salvage or residual value divided by the life. So we have 120,000 original cost minus zero salvage value divided by a useful life of five years. That's going to be $24,000 in annual depreciation. Now, this is only one year of depreciation because this was purchased in 2020, and we are now in 2021. So this gives us a book value of $96,000. And if the proceeds on the elevator are $25,000, this results in a loss on sale of $71,000. Our next requirement, number two here, is to prepare an income statement under the keep or replace option, which will result in one of the ways that you can determine whether or not you should keep or replace, but the income statement approach takes a bit more time to do and is less efficient. So here are two options, keep or replace. The revenues generated for the professional center are 240,000 per year times four years. So regardless of whether you keep or replace, 960,000 is the revenue. And then we subtract our costs. We start with variable costs that are 35,000 per year times four years. So if we keep the old elevator, the annual costs are 35,000 per year times four years for 140,000. If you replace it, the annual costs are only 10,000 per year times four years. For the fixed costs, the old elevator 23,000 per year on four years for 92,000. If we replace it, the fixed costs are only $8,500 per year times four years, so that's 34,000. The selling and admin costs are actually identical for both years and are calculated as 29,000 times four years for a total of 116. And then for our income statement, of course, we have to subtract depreciation. The depreciation for the original elevator would amount to $96,000, and this would be calculated as 24,000 in depreciation times four years for the old elevator or the remaining 96,000 book value. Now the depreciation on the new elevator is 160,000, which is the same as the original cost because this would be fully depreciated, right? Over the four year period. But in case you're wondering what that equates to, so 160,000 minus zero salvage value over four years would be the equivalent to 40,000 per year times four years. So the total cost to operate the old elevator if you keep it will be 444,000. The total cost to operate the new elevator if you replace it is 350,000. And then what we also have to make sure we consider is that if we do replace the old elevator, we will incur a loss of $71,000. Therefore, 
So keeping the old elevator would result in net income of 516000 whereas replacing the elevator would actually result in operating income of 539000 which is a difference of $23,000 in favor of replacing. So using an income statement approach, you can see which option provides you the highest profitability, and that's the one you would go with. Okay, and our last requirement essentially is going to be to perform an incremental or what we call a differential analysis. So our two options are to keep or replace, and then we have now a column for the incremental or the differential. And if you look at our income statement that we did over here, the incremental approach requires us to identify anything that changes. With relevant costing, we have to identify relevant revenues and relevant costs. And so we see here that the revenues stay the same between the two alternatives, so we can ignore them. If we look through the list and see what changes, well, our variable costs will change, our fixed costs will change, so those two are relevant, but the selling and administrative expenses is not relevant, and the depreciation actually isn't relevant either, but you'll see why that is in a moment. So if we look at the variable costs, we saw that keeping the old elevator will have costs of 140000 and the new elevator will have costs of 40000 So the incremental, now how you calculate your incremental is totally up to you. You could take the keep minus replace, the replace minus keep, but what we'll do is we'll call this column 1 and this column 2, so the incremental column 1 minus column 2, so that we end up with a difference of 100000 for variable costs. Fixed costs, the old elevator would cost 92, the new would cost 34, so those are relevant costs of 58,000. And basically saying that this is keep is more expensive, the same thing with the fixed costs. Then we have to make sure that we include any outlays. Now the old elevator has already been outlaid, but the new elevator will result in a new cash outflow of 160,000. So if we take zero minus 160 is 160. And then we have to include the salvage value on the old elevator, which would be an offset against replacing. So we would then subtract $25,000 to represent a cash inflow, which would be offset against the $160,000 purchase. And so if we take zero minus 25, that turns into a positive 25,000 here. So the total relevant costs associated with keeping the elevator are 232000 and the total relevant costs of replacing the elevator is 209000 Well, that's a difference of $23,000, which is also reflected here in the incremental column. You actually don't even need to calculate this incremental column unless you want to see line by line what the impact is. The point is by recognizing only the items that change, so the variable costs, the change, the fixed costs, the outlay for the elevator, and the salvage value on the old elevator. And the decision then is to replace because the company will save $23,000 or profit an additional 23,000 over the four years. And that's the other thing too. This is the incremental analysis over four years. And so that's two different ways to determine whether or not you should keep or replace. The long way is to create an income statement for both options. The short way is to identify the relevant costs and revenues. Hope you found it useful.